Hello and welcome back to the, my channel. This is the second fan of the night. I forgot to say that on the first fan, but whatever. Uh, what we got here is a tat uh, industrial. It's rebranded C can arm C fifty six. Uh, I this is another fan from Mitch Anderson. Uh, I've not really tested this. I mean, I've not really made a video of this, like, going through the speeds, but I had it installed in my basement for a while, and now we're going to take a good look at it. So, the span, as you can see, has the can arm plus in there sticker. Uh, it's not in the best shape. also needs work. He gave me the worst, one in the worst condition, but I don't really care. I could repaint this easily. It's from this uh, November 12, 1985. There's the first sticker. Model CFA1. And here it says C56A, 0.85 amps. So, yeah, it's uh very much about it for this fan before going into demonstration. For testing purposes, I ran on a solid state control because on the regular speed control it would have a great range. So now we're on the lowest. Let's see if it's gonna keep going or gonna saw out. I think I'm gonna keep going. The lays are also pretty bent, but the fan it does not swabble as much as I thought it would. <coughs> the blades are also very, very heavy. They're like Hess, they're very heavy steel. These are known to get bad capacitor because for a specific, like a pretty not so big motor to drive like three heavy steel blades, gotta get the motor to get really hot and the, and the capacitor just wears out. I've seen this case version and I've seen this case on online all right we're gonna go quarter of a turn this thing's pretty loud too on a solid state So this is like a, as wobbly as it could, well, while speeding up, so this is not too bad. That wobble is almost like non-existent now. I'll probably just have to touch up, touch a button motor and that's it. I don't think I'm gonna like fully restore this, the canopies and blades are not in the worst shape, so I just need to do work on the motor. Do another quarter of a turn. This thing takes a while to speed up. These are known to get bad capacitors, but this one is a pretty good one. Pretty good range of speeds too.
All right, let's go. Now, really, it's quiet. I ran in a bit for, for a bit, so no kind of warm up and motor. Not in the bearing still. So this is another fan I got on my way back from Foundation from another collector, from Mitch Anderson. So, all high is pretty much, the wobble is pretty much non existent. And it still is speeding up very slowly. You see the blades on frames that are not like a line at all. And the fan's pretty unit, performing pretty good. This is, I think, the third or fourth generation of the Can Arms. The first generation was the Union Round, or Evergo, Union Evergo, with a round motor, which uh, I have a, I have like a Nevergo one, and brown with gold truck around the motor. It's in my bedroom at my dad's house. So I'm just speaking of this version, that's the uh, can arm. The second version was the, it, it was made by Taft. Uh, it had a cast iron motor and the same, it was the same blade design. The, yeah, I think this is a four generation, but the third gen had a thicker, was the motor became stamped. The third, and the third generation had a thicker, like, groove in the motor. And the fourth generation has, has a thin move, which is this one. And the fifth generation was the ones that have the plain blades, which I'm also looking for. It has a gold truck on motor and a, like pretty much thin, thinner, not sure if they're aluminum or steel. And then the sixth generation is the version of one line of blades which I have. I have one uh, painted over in brown. Uh, that's the and the seventh generation. I believe it's from the, the late nineties. This is the seventh generation. These two. Eighth generation is from the two thousands, which is the. Uh, well, after all, another thing to point out is that the. Late 90s version had the groove in the motor, and 2000s that went away. It's just a stand motor with a gold stripe, and then the 8th generation, I think, I'm, I'm kind of lost here, uh, had just the plain white stripe, and then the 9th generation is the current DC model. <laughs> So, doesn't move, it doesn't like shoot the air, it just spreads it, the curve blades, like you can feel it all over here. But it's kind of, it runs really smooth. It's a very good fan. There was one of these at a Canadian tire. I made several videos of it. It had the very wobbly canner in fifth generation. It had the, uh, a bunch of fans. It had, it's the same one that has the seven gold lines. I've recently made a remake video of the, the fans in the entire place. In this place, you have a lot of, you used to have a lot of fifth generation, generations. Uh, now there's just like three of them. There are actually one more 
that I went in like early March, uh, March of last year, and then when I went back there in May, the fan was gone, and I could see a lot of holes, and like canopy traces that where a fan would belong, and near the entrance of this Canadian Tire, it had one of these. And that fan later got replaced with a bronze line. And that bronze line has also got taken out too. Leaving an empty hole in the ceiling. There's there's many holes in the ceiling. There's there used to be at least like twenty something fans in the main area. Now there's just like nine. But anyways, that wraps up this fan. We're not gonna do spin down because it's gonna take forever. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.